the economy gonna crash. And who and then all these people that's riding fast talking about next time, next time, they're gonna get caught out there, man. And the Lord gonna be like, no time. You know? know so it's like coming. so it's like it's imperative that brothers get right, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like the brother said, like we not we not be out there next week. The internet might shut down. You know what I mean? So if you come out there and be diligent and prove yourself, like the brother was saying, that we all stood on that side of the line right there. Right. You know, and and, 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 and the Lord wanna see how how hard you're gonna work toward them, man. Yeah. You know, we're not just gonna be like here in the camp and give you a garment, you know. The truth is something that the Lord stole upon you little by little. And if you forsake them, man, you're gonna take take it take it all away. Right. You know, you wanna be an Israelite Sunday, but tomorrow you wanna be a fucking nigga. Right. Crib or blood or something, and it's not for you, man. Right. Blessed is he that walketh and watcheth and keepeth his garment. At least he walk naked. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep that garment, man. You know the truth? You gotta, you gotta grab it. Hey, like a football player, when he grab a football, you see he hold it like a baby. He doing everything he can man, to hold on to that football. That's how you gotta hold on to the truth. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he may get the, the hell knocked out of him. You like, God damn. But he still got that football. Yeah. That's you know what I'm yeah. saying? Ever since, ever since I got like put on to this, like I just be at home studying, marking my Bible, That's highlighting beautiful. stuff, and just you know, keep going through it. Like I just pulled out him, like yesterday, like something else that I had learned, like some that Christians use the John 3:16. I'm like, check this out. Go to John 17 and 18. Was it 17? 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, yeah, 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 yeah. And I had showed him like, yeah, like I, 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 I be with it. This is uh, this is uh, Matthew 19. Precept of the gospel. I have, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is John 19, 27. This is Peter said to you, I was shot. He said, then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there, therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that which that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne hey, of his glory. And you got brothers came in the truth from nice cars and houses, yeah. hauling out, nice job. Man, right. And we went to damn near homeless, man. Yeah. No, hey, no woman. Yeah. Woman took the kids. Yeah. On home alone mode, <laughs> you know, anything that's a distraction, the Lord gonna remove us right. automatically. See, we don't understand why these things leave, man. Mm -hmm. But it'd be the Lord saying, "No, nah, this gonna this, this gonna keep you from me. Right. If you really wanna serve me, you let it go." That's why I said we forsaken all, man. Right. You know, because the Lord, hey, the Lord will remove stuff out of your life, and you be fucked up. Like, why this happening to me? The Lord be like, that was going to be a stumbling block, bro. You better thank yeah. me. And, 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 but then, and see, all we got to live on is the scriptures. The scriptures also say, seek the first the kingdom, and all else should be added unto you. So, you know, we got this first, man. We, we ain't going through hell on this side, man. But, man, we got something greater to look for. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Uh, let me oh, finish yeah. this up. I, I got you, Monster. Um, he, said in the he said, in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, he shall also sit, he shall... He also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So yeah, that's that's true. so Peter's going. So we working for our, our reward is in, in is heaven. It's to come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not working for no no glory on this side. Man. Right. Yeah. You know? Uh, hey, the only glory we get is being around each other, really. Uh, uh, reading our word. I'm studying, man. That's, hey, man, that's, that's the, the only glory we get is, is the Heavenly Father's glory, man. That's this truth, man. This, this, this word, mainly, mainly this word, and, and the brothers, man. You know? That's the that's the only glory you get. Ain't no ain't no glory coming to us to be uplifted on this side. If you see a guy that's too uplifted, man, something going wrong. Hey, something wrong with him, man. Yeah. Hey, the scriptures say, beware when men speak well of you, man. You know, so you see a guy that he, oh, I'm in the truth, and everybody like, oh, I love that guy. You gotta you gotta look at him sideways, like I don't know what's up. Cause our leaders, man, everybody hate him. Everybody hate him. Hey, other camps that don't got the same doctrine team up together and, and bang on our leaders and us. Just like they did the Lord, man. Crucify him. Give us Barabbas. <laughs> Give us the murderer, nigga. You know? Who hold up? 
You was weak. We got four on Sirach 5 2. I know, I know, brother. Sirach 5 2. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Right, because a lot of guys follow their own mind. A lot of guys in this troop, like you said, you used to watch how you I see and all these other guys. Somebody get Isaiah 28 and start at 8. Start at 9. Isaiah 28 and 9. Somebody get Jeremiah 17 and 9. Now reread that again. Follow not thine own mind and thy and thy strength. So it says, follow not thy own mind, right? Go ahead. To walk in the ways of thy heart. To walk in the ways of your heart. The word uh, heart in the Hebrew is live, which is your mind, right? Somebody get Jeremiah 17 and 9. Got it. Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? So we don't go off our own mind. That's why somebody get Isaiah 28 and 8. This is Isaiah. Nine. Verse 9. It's Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. In Psalms 119 and 104. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? So he said, whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make understand doctrine, right? Who can understand these words? Go ahead. Them that are weaned from the milk. Somebody get 1 Peter 2 and 2. And drawn from the breast. So it says, uh, them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. It's like a baby. Once the baby get off the titty, he's weaned from the milk. He no longer needs the breast, the, the, the you know, the milk from the breast, right? First Peter 2, go ahead, bro. First Peter chapter 2, verse 2. Wherefore, lying, I mean, slot. Verse 2, as newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the word, that ye may grow thereby. See, as newborn babies desire, desire the sincere milk of the word. So this, this is symbolic of milk, and we're babies. Somebody find that when Yahweh Shah said, "Lest the man be reborn again," he was talking to uh, Nicodemus. He was talking to Nicodemus. Oh, that guy, Nicodemus. I got something like the fourth chapter. Nah, it's just Go ahead, keep reading it on Isaiah, though, because you got to be reborn again. Everything that you learn. Somebody get a uh, 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 Romans, Romans twelve and two real fast. You got it. They gotta put off the whole account. account. You know what That's I'm saying? Right. Like, um, no, just just to the point. That's what's up. How long are you doing about the truth? You still, you still live in the city? Uh-uh, I live in Indiana. I live in Indiana. Right, okay, okay, you say you okay, still live out here? Yeah. All right, this is John 3 and 3, the point the brother was uh, bringing out. All right, this is, uh, for edification, say, you know the name already, so I'm going to use the name and say Jesus. I'm going to use the real name. All right, uh, this is uh, John, St. John 3 and 3. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the power. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born again, born when he is old? Can he, can he enter and second time into his mother's womb and be born? Right, so he thinking carnally. He right. thinking like, shit, I gotta climb back right. in the pussy and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Grown as hell, right? Go ahead. God. Verse 5. <laughs> Yahweh <laughs> shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit. We're just talking about this knowledge. But he Go cannot ahead. enter into the kingdom of the power. Mm -hmm. That that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Right, and how can you be born of the spirit? Somebody get Romans 12 and uh, 2. You got it, bro. Go ahead, bro. Book of Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world and what this world teach you, right? Go ahead. But ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. By the renewing of your mind. That's how you be reborn. So you got to forget all that shit that you learned. And you got to start as a little, because a child don't know nothing growing up. So you got to be taught these scriptures all over again, right? Go ahead. That's, that's it on that? That ye may be proved. What is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your house? See, that you may know the, the good and simple will of what the what the Lord purpose, what you to do. Right. right? Now go back to Isaiah 28. Hold, hold that up. Well, this is Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? 
them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept. The precept is the scriptures we bring out. A precept is a commandment. Each right. one, if, like we just called for Isaiah 28, verse 9. That's a precept. We just called for Romans 12 and 2. That's a precept. He just got the, uh, the Psalms uh, 119. That's a precept. So each one of these is a precept, right? So it said what? It says, for precept must be upon precept. Somebody get Isaiah 8 and 20. It says, precept we upon just, precept. Wait, we were just quoting that scripture. Go ahead. It says, precept upon precept. So this is how you know who's telling the truth. Because if it's not precept upon precept, if you can't, you see how we jumping around and it's fitting all that so you can see the full picture? That's how this book is supposed to be taught. If it's not precept upon precept, precept upon precept, then it's then it's going off somebody's mind. Right. And like the scripture says, the mind is deceitful above all things. So this is so we don't go off our own mind, we go off with the it's, these is our glasses. We see everything through here. I believe that's Deuteronomy 6. But go ahead, brother. It says, for precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept, mm -hmm. line upon line, mm -hmm. line upon line, here a little and there a you little. see how we went here a little. We went to Peter. We went to Isaiah. We went going to Psalms. We was in Sirach. You know what I'm saying, right? Go ahead. It says, uh, for with stammering lips. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Um, from there. 820? Yeah, Isaiah 820. Isaiah 820. Give me the Psalms 119. Go ahead. Isaiah 820. To the law and to the testimony, mm -hmm. they speak not according to this word. So if it's not precept upon precept, precept upon precept, right? Go ahead. It is because there is no light in them. And the light is his knowledge. So if they ain't coming precept upon precept, and ain't no light, ain't no knowledge in them. You don't listen to them. You know, because we prove everything. That's right. We prove all things. Go ahead, brother. Uh, Psalms 119 and 144. 104. Oh, 104. And Psalms 119. Verse 104, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Somebody get Proverbs 4 and 7. I got you. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. See, through Therefore, thy precepts, right, I get understanding. That's how you understand what the Lord wants you to do, through the precepts. Go ahead. Uh, Therefore, I hate every false way. I hate every false way, you know, because uh, uh, the brother mentioned about uh, how everybody gets on our, our leaders, our apostles. It's because they rebuking everything. Because the scriptures tell you to contend for the faith. This truth got to be taught directly and correctly. You got to be 100% on point. You got guys talking about you can take the chip. What the chip is, the mark of the beast, Revelation 13, that's that's the chip. You got guys saying it ain't. That's not according to scripture. We got we to gotta rebuke them, you know? Yeah. We gotta correct, so we gotta uh, uh, lead the people in the correct way. Right. Whoever get led in that in that false way, hey, it was meant for them to go that way. Right. Hey, the you new know? the new doctrine is the earth and the sun was the only planets created. Yep. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the new doctrine. The sun is planet. And, and uh, uh, some Israelite groups out there saying that you don't need Yahweh Shah to have salvation. You know, so that's going on. Right. You know? So it's just many doctrines out there, man. So person, I don't want to get you a point, but it's just a verse in Corinthians, man, said him who come preaching another Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because it's already it's already been been taught out there. You know what I'm saying? So this thing is fairly like kind of brought back. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta we'll grab on hold to this. And what made me come to this is because like like I had a, a, a woman that was in my life, a, a, a black woman, yeah. you know, as we say. But um, came to my life when I was a younger, and she started bringing me to church and everything. And I was going to church and stuff. But growing up, like as I was getting older, like I always felt like something not right, <laughs> something not right That's here. Bad. You feel me? I just always had That's that something yeah. not right. So yeah. I'm like, okay, like after she passed and everything, then I just started falling back from going to church. And then I got a um, my brother done put me on to uh, hidden colors. Yeah. So when I got the pan and to hearing colors into what they were saying, then that pushed me on a little bit down the line. See, my other brother, he was in Kentucky, but he was when he was learning all this, he wasn't out here. And then when he came back out here, he got to showing me scriptures out of the Bible. Boom, 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 this, 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 boom. Oh, um, okay. So once I got to learning that, then we got to go <laughs> to the Hebrew Israel. Like this part, like within the first three to five months. Right. Then that's when I got to go on on YouTube watching videos and I got the getting my Bible and got the and studying and, and 
Now, now, now I know what I know now. I know, I know who our people is. I know the 12 tribes. I know them, uh, y'all are shouting and messing with no other tribe. You, besides us, the Israelites, I, I, I know. Hey, that's how it starts, man. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful, bro, because basically, man, that's, that, well, we all got different stories, but basically that's how it started, man. Yeah, and that's yeah. why I say uh, I need to come back. Uh, I want to come back to who, who I truly am. Statue of the Commandments. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Hey, yeah. man, we're going to bring out some more points. Go ahead, brother. That's how we feel. Yeah. I got some. Uh, Isaiah 30 and 20. And the Lord shall give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Yet shall not thou teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thou teachers, mm -hmm. and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Yep, that's right. And when ye turn so like say, read, read that again. It says, it says, your ears shall do what? And thou ears shall hear a word uh -huh. behind thee, saying, this is the way. That goes back to John the 10th chapter where it says, my sheep hear my voice. Yep. Because the elect is going to hear you. This is going to sound right. It's going to click. It's right. going to. Yeah. That's what, it that's what it is. Like, you know, you know and and turn the hearts to the, on to the, to the uh, uh, turn the hearts of the uh, father. I mean, uh, to, to the father. Hey, it says, yeah, "Was that still happening uh, 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 up under um, uh, 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 Abba Bibbins, man? You know, it says, uh, walk ye in it when ye when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left.' Because it's only one way to get get, and that's through Yahweh Shai, and that's through the right way he taught it." So that's going by these putting the puzzle pieces together. Yep. This is a puzzle book. You know, people try to read it like uh, what it is. No, you gotta you gotta take it from here and here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta paint that picture right here. Here a little, there a little. Go ahead, brother. I got I got one more, brother. And he says you got ends in the way. Yet Yahweh Shah said the teacher says this is Matthew seven. You know what? Seven and thirteen it says enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the which, gate. Which the straight gate, the word straight is not straight as in straight line. It's a straight as S T R A I T, as in position of difficulty. It goes back to Sirach 2 and 1. We read it said, When you come to serve the Lord, prepare thyself for temptation. Because mm -hmm. the Lord going to try you. Like, like how the brother said, you're going to have a girlfriend, you're going to have a husband, you're going to have a wife, you're going to have a child, you're going to have a job, you're going to have a career, you might lose, you might have a car, you might lose, you might have a girl, you might lose, you might have a job, you're going to lose, you might have a crib, you might lose, you might have a car, you might lose. You know, the Lord going to put you through that fire to test you and see if you really love him. You know? Enter ye in at the straight gate, but why is the gate? Why is the gate? And broad mm -hmm. is the way that leadeth to destruction. So this gate is wide and broad. How many people can go in there at? Everybody. Just as gonna say it, right? Everybody can go in that gate, that broad gate. Mm -hmm. Is that broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in there at. Yep. Because straight is the gate, mm -hmm. and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Right. So it's going to be few people that's going to enter into this gate. The majority of the people going to go into the uh, broad gate. So a majority of the people talking about some shit, right. it can't that, be right. Right. You know? I know that it's going to be a third that's only the, the, the one righteous third. of the third, one that's third, right. and the most of the, the rest of the population going to die. Yep. You know, I'm going to read this one, too, because we was getting on Nate now in these other Israelite camps. So let's go hand in hand with it. False prophets, all right, because even amongst um, amongst Israelite groups, uh, like Peter said, even amongst you, they should bring in what? For privily, they should bring in what? Demnable yeah, heresies. heresies. Yeah. So even amongst Israelite groups, it's demnable heresies, man. Yeah, Other and false you, doctrines. And it's easy to it's easy to get a hold to a damnable heresy because uh, not everybody knows the mysteries of the scriptures, man. Yeah. Like the brothers were saying. So, so you got brothers out there seeking the truth, and 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 then you got niggas out there teaching false doctrines and they they just seeking the truth and they and they like man it's easy to get caught up well i guess that, that i guess that sound right you know because yeah. you know brothers ain't you know what i'm saying brothers ain't no college uh, uh you know a master's degree have you know a lot of brothers understanding may may fail them a lot of times man yeah. you know knowledge popping up so that's why they teaching that bullshit. yeah man. Give them some type of fucking praise. Vain glory. Vain con, brother. Right. Yep. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, yep. but inwardly they are raven wolves. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Precepts. Demash, Demash, you had some right? 
uh, um, you know, I, I, I was going to go into it. it well, it was, it was talking about when you was talking about the scriptures are a mystery. Uh, um, and I didn't want to go backwards. No, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, this, relevant, this is Mark 4 and 10. It says, and when he, when he was alone, they that were about him with the 12 asked him. Because, because it, see, now that's perfect because it lines right up with few, few there be that yeah. body. Because yeah. you got to know how to walk, you know? Yeah. The 12 asked of him 